हेलो गाइस दिस इज चेतन वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय अनदर वीडियो रिगार्डिंग मैपिंग टाइप दिस इज मैपिंग टाइप ओके सो अ मैप रिप्रेजेंट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ की वैल्यू पेयर्स दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ की वैल्यू पेयर्स ओके सो दैट व्हेन द की इज गिवन we can retrieve the value associated with it suppose if you will pass 10 10 is like uh, this is one this is key and a uh, 10 value is um, suppose chetan so as you will pass 10 will retrieve chetan itself the value of this key okay the dict data type is an example for a map so dictionary dict means dictionary dict data type data type is an example for this example for this uh, uh, particular map okay the dict represents a dictionary that contains pairs of elements such that the first element represents the key and the next one becomes its value this is key and this is value okay the key and its value should be separated by a colon it should be separated by this colon okay and every pair should be represented by the comma and uh, if i want to represent any variable like suppose one equals to r is okay another uh, variable is two the uh, key is two and which is uh, vivek okay like that so if two consecutive variables elements it should be separated by the comma and it should be uh, uh, enclosed in between curly braces okay so every pair should be separated by the comma and all elements should be enclosed inside curly braces so these are the curly braces here we can create a, a dictionary by typing the roll roll numbers and name of the student so this is roll number and name of the associated by the uh, name of the students so we know string can be uh provided with the help of single uh, quote uh, quotes also and double quotes also okay here row numbers are uh, keys and names will become values we write these keys uh, key value pairs inside curly braces as this so d equal to this so by default this is the object this is an object of class dict i'll show you how one more thing i here only i just want to tell you then we will do programming regarding that here d is the name of the dictionary and one is the key here one is the key and uh, its associated value is r is associated value is r is okay so next is uh, two and associated value is vivek similarly we can include number of values there we can create an empty dictionary without any elements as suppose if you want to declare it so without any variable i can do this in set i told you there it is not possible set also includes uh, curly braces but if you will declare set like this so by default it will take only dictionary only okay set is not possible uh, to declare like uh, dictionary okay later we can store the key and value inside d if we want to uh, provide any key and value and if we want to store any key and value inside that so we can do so suppose one this is key and associated with it r is so i can do so okay vivek and 3 chetan okay i can do so here 1 2 3 is the key are the key and these are the value associated these key with these keys in the preceding statements 10 uh, 1 represents the key and uh, r is its values okay 
and if you will print it it will show you the type uh, uh, dictionary only and in the form of dictionary only okay so let's do some programming so there you will understand more about this okay so one more file dict dict dot pi so d equal to curly braces okay curly braces or d1 equal to dict by using dict function also i can do so so it will make this particular object as a dict class of a dict class so when i will print type of both of this let us check it type of d and d1 type d1 so when i will do so it will print uh, dict dot pi dict dot pi so here we can see both d and d1 belong to class dict okay so i hope you have understood till here now I have declared a variable d using curly, empty curly braces and if I want to uh, append any value into it and if I want to uh, store any key value inside that so what I will do I will do suppose 1 equals to uh, Chetan Aries Aries d2 equal to Vivek Vivek then D suppose 30 key value can be anything it can be integer it can be variable it can be anything it is not necessary to be an uh, only should uh, integer only it is not necessary okay we can take any key value here okay so this is Chetan suppose as i told you key value can be anything suppose uh, d mm, i taken uh, rahul equal to uh, 13 so it is also allowed and then if i'll print d so now to check it out so here one 2, 30 and Rahul are the key value, keys and uh, value associated with these keys are Aries, Vivek, Chetan and 13 and this entire dictionary is enclosed in curly braces, okay, as like set. One more thing, let's do some uh, duplicacy here. So, will it allow duplicacy? Suppose if I will append one more variable uh, key 10 and associated with it one value Chetan again. So let's do duplicacy here. So here duplicacy is allowed in the form of value but in the form of keys it is not allowed because only one key is uh, it should be primary. No duplicacy should be entertained. If we are retrieving any value associated with this particular key so it should be unique in entire dictionary dictionary is same as uh, what we uh, what we do in our english dictionary so there to <coughs> suppose we have any name uh, associated associated okay and associated has some meaning so two uh, name cannot have different meaning okay two name cannot have different meanings and duplicacy of two names are cannot allowed so this is same as uh, uh, the english dictionary maybe you people have oxford dictionary and some another kind of dictionary so in python also we have same like what we have in uh, our real uh, real time example 
okay so i hope you have understood till here if you have any doubt regarding this please do comment thank you and have a good day